choking off, like this is a, we're on a side discussion now, but it's an interesting side discussion, is when you choke dogs off things, you make more drive for them, right? So it's a technique that we use not to teach an out, but we use it a lot to make more drive for whatever it is. So when we're teaching our dog and you're trying to build them, you lift them slowly off the bite, you lift them slowly off a, off a ball and then have it whip away. And so choke offs actually make the dog want the object more because they, they're losing it really slowly and finally they, it slips out and they're like, oh, next time, next time, next time I'll be in there a little longer. I can do it. I know I can keep it, right? So it's like building drive for the object. And it's, it's a management tool. Sometimes you don't have a choice, right? So sometimes you're in a, in a real situation where you can't hang around and sit there for an hour and wait for them to let go. But you need to set up training sessions where you can. Because the more you choke them off, the more they want to keep it. So it's actually the opposite. Well, a lot of the Dutch guys do that um, on the bite with their young dogs for police work and KNPV and things. It's like, so they'll put the dog in the bite and the dog will bite. And when they're young, they'll be out there, pet the dog, and the dog's biting it, and they're going, you're good dog. And then they'll slowly lift them and choke them off, and then the guy will roll away and get up and run. And they'll, ah, boom, and let them go back. And next thing you know, you come up there, and you pull on that collar, <clears throat> they go in the other way. Like, they start digging in harder. Yeah, it's a drive building thing. It's a frustration uh, drive builder when you do choke offs. And the problem is lots of people do choke offs and say out. And when you do that, you're counter conditioning your dog to not out, right? <laughs> so they go like, they say out and they start choking the dog off. The dog loses it. And then the next time you say out, the dog goes <laughs> clamps down extra hard. So if you're going to choke the dog off, never use any commands, right? So you just say like, hey, I don't have a choice here. I got to get this thing back from this dog. So we got other things to do or whatever, <laughs> right? So don't say out when you choke the dog off. Every time you say out, that dog's getting it back again right away. And then he'll get to this point where he says, oh, you say out, bam, get it again. Out, spit it, yes, get it again. Out, spit it, yes, get it again. Good boy. Then I can say out, he ho I'll make him hold it, me hold it for a second, yes, give it back to him. Out, me pick it up, hold it for a second, yes, you get it again. And then eventually I'll say out, good, I'll put it in my pocket, I'll give him a piece of food, do another search, give it right back to him, whatever, and just mix it up at that point. And then I'll hit a spot in there where if I need to pressure him, I can pressure him, but not with choke offs. That's a great place for the electric collar afterwards, right? So now I've shown the dog this, and then I just use really low-level electric while I'm holding the thing. Just dip, 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 dip. He lets go. Yes, he gets it back again. And then I have a physical signal where if he sticks, I can nick him, no problem, without fallout. And it's a new stimuli that he maybe doesn't have uh, experience with. So.